Hi, I'm Denise Thompson and welcome to my YouTube channel which I call YouTube Tuesday because every other Tuesday I offer tips and techniques to lectors and gospel readers, proclaimers of the word, to help us proclaim the word as effectively as we possibly can. So welcome and thank you for being here. Today's topic for reflection is body language. Now body language is important because it sends silent signals to the congregation about a number of things like you, your attitude toward the ministry, and even your feelings toward the Word of God as you proclaim it. So we have to be conscious of that. Let's start at the beginning. When you first stand up and you walk to the ambo, people are looking at you and they're starting to form opinions about you. And they do that through two venues. One is how you carry yourself. And the other is what you wear. Now I have a whole video on dress guidelines, so please be sure to consult that one for additional detail about that. But just suffice it to say that anything that's going to detract from the reading should be left in the closet. How do you carry yourself? Well, let's start with good posture. Stand up straight if you're physically able to do so. Fold your hands, either with your fingertips pointed toward heaven, or you can fold them like this if that's more comfortable for you, or you can even leave your arms comfortably at your side. Now, in many parishes, the lector passes in front of the altar on his or her way to the ambo. If that applies to you, be sure and bow before the altar on your way. And it should be a profound bow that is one from the waist, as opposed to a bow of reverence, which is the head only, such as we use for Holy Communion. When you get to the ambo, you should plant both feet firmly underneath you. But again, look relaxed but focused. You don't have to lock your knees and be stiff because that would come across as being uptight. So just be relaxed. But don't rock back and forth, okay? Don't do one of these. Don't jingle the change in your pocket. If you do have a problem with these quirky type of subconscious movements, call me or send me an email because I have an exercise that will help you get through that. Now people say, what should I do with my hands? Well, you can place them on the ambo. Don't hold it in a death grip. Be confident and comfortable. Or most lectors put their hands on the lectionary and follow along with the words so that they won't lose their place when they look up and out to make frequent eye contact. Also, bear in mind that when you approach the ambo, let's back up for a second, you should do it in a way that's going to be dignified and sincere. You don't want to appear hurried or rushed. Because I tell you right now, the way a lector approaches the ambo is the way the reading will go. So if you're in a hurry and you race up there and you're nervous, guess what? You'll race right through your reading. If you approach in a way that is focused and deliberate, so will go your reading. Now make sure that the microphone is in a position that is going to allow you to be heard effectively. Be careful Know what you're doing in terms of your mechanical interaction with that microphone because lectors have been known to break microphones before and they are very expensive systems. In fact, some parishes do not allow the lector or gospel reader to touch the microphone, but they have handled it in other ways. So be sure that you understand what the rules are in your own parish. Now people have also asked me, is it appropriate to hold the book? Is it appropriate to hold the lectionary or the book of the Gospels? And the answer is yes. But many proclaimers do not feel comfortable doing so. But if you do feel comfortable holding it, it makes a beautiful presentation. Because what you are doing is caressing the Word of God, just as the Word of God caresses us when we hear it. If you hold the book, please make sure that you don't lose your place. If you have a big hand, then you can hold it with one hand and then follow along with the other so you don't lose your place. 
or if you're very familiar with the reading and with how the words are laid out on the page in the book that you are proclaiming from, then you can hold it with both hands. But again, do what's comfortable for you. And by all means, please never use your hands during the reading. That is inappropriate and it's very annoying and it's theatrical and it detracts from the reading. Even a slight gesture is inappropriate. Please, all you need are your facial expressions, which obviously reflect the content and emotion of the reading, and your eyes, and of course your voice, and your nice, quiet posture. So something to think about. Thank you for listening, and God bless you for all that you do.